Usually when we hear the words positive and negative, we think of positive being good and negative being bad. When it comes to creating art, the words positive and negative have completely different meanings. The positive space in a drawing or a painting is usually the main subject of your artwork, as illustrated by the stool. The negative space is the background or the space around your subject. Typically, our eyes are drawn to the positive space first. In this well-known self-portrait by Frida Kahlo, Frida herself takes up the positive space. And the monkey, cat, foliage, and rich texture fills up the negative space or the background. While we tend to focus on the main subject of our artwork, it is equally valuable to put some thought into what will fill up the negative space or background. Here's another example of a famous painting without the negative space filled in and with the negative space filled in. You can see the difference. Here's another simple illustration of positive and negative space. Do you see faces or a vase? If you are seeing a vase, then you are seeing the white area as the positive space. If you are seeing faces, then you are seeing the black areas as the positive space and the white area as the negative space. There are many talented artists who like to be creative with positive and negative space and create optical illusions. M.C. Escher is famous for his tessellation drawings, which have positive and negative space flowing into each other. Tang Yao Hung is a talented Malaysian artist who is known for playing with positive and negative space in his art. And here are modern day examples of art that incorporates positive and negative space. 